So let's continue our conversation about money and building a relationship with money. Because I get contacted every other day, at least, from people saying that they feel like they're doing all that they can, they're doing all of the rituals, they're burning the candles, they're talking to their money and things like that, but money is still elusive. So I have to then ask the question, are you really doing what it takes to build your relationship with money? And the reason I, you know, use the example of building your relationship with money the same way you will build a relationship with a man is because it makes more sense to a lot of us. Some of us have such disjointed dysfunctional relationships with money that we can't even conceptualize having a good relationship or functional relationship with money so therefore I say to treat money the way you would treat a man at least in the beginning of the relationship okay and so if you are not willing to feed that man aka your money if you're not willing to stroke his ego aka the money's ego if you're not willing to express your appreciation for the money on a regular basis then that money will be nowhere to be found right so let's talk about the appreciation of money I appreciate my money I appreciate everything it does for me right money likes to feel appreciated money goes where it is appreciated appreciate it so it can appreciate aka grow in value value money knows its value right it knows that it's worth something it knows that it is needed in this society so it goes where it is appreciated and where it can appreciate So if you don't appreciate your money, you just got your money thrown down in your purse, it's all crumpled up and whatnot, and it's not facing in the same direction, like it is pure chaos in your purse, why do you think that money is never really in there, right? Something is going to happen that is going to cause you to spend, aka end, the money that is in your purse or in your possession or in your bank account because you don't appreciate it. There's no room for it to grow because your purse is a pure chaos. So here's the challenge. Here's the the homework for today. Clean out your purse, sis. I've showed you all my wallet before in a really, really old video um, that's called Feng Shui. How to Feng Shui Your Wallet. I think I'm going to do an updated version of that. It's a few years old at this point. But one thing about me is ever since I made that video, I've made sure... That I've always had a wallet that was in excellent condition and my wallet is always super neat, right? We got to make room for the things that we want and nothing good wants to be in a chaotic environment. So if you want your money to appreciate, in other words, grow, then you need to start to appreciate your money and that starts with at least keeping your purse clean. I mean, that's the least you can do. Okay, and then we have to vibe with the money. Okay, so if you are a low vibrational being, please know that money does not live on low vibrational frequencies. Okay, abundance the abundance of money lives in higher frequencies. So if you are a low frequency being, right if you're always pissed off and mad about something then your vibe your vibration your frequency level is below money and you wonder why you don't have an abundance of it you don't have a lot of money you just get the crumbs that falls through the cracks of the higher frequencies where money really lives right i know that struck a nerve ouch just say ouch and let's move on so what i want you guys to to envision right now is you being on the first level of a three level home okay if you've never been in a three level home so you can't really visualize that okay let's just roll with two stories 
okay you're on the first level and the abundance and money and high frequency is on the second level and there are cracks in the ceiling okay there are cracks in the ceiling and money every now and then just kind of falls through the cracks and you're down on your hands and knees and you're just trying to take up every little thing that comes through the crack that falls through the cracks right because on the second level that's where the abundance is that that is where the land of milk and honey is that is where all of just piles and stacks and stacks and stacks of money is both paper and both coin and coin right and so when people that are on the higher frequencies they're just jolly and just having a good old time and their pockets are so stuffed with the money that sometimes the money falls out a couple of dollars here a couple of dimes there and it falls through the cracks for you that live on the lower planes vibrationally okay in the gutter if you will money don't like being in the gutter it doesn't it likes to be able to flow through the hands of people who really appreciate it and with people who are really vibing high now can you amass a whole lot of money on a lower frequency yes but can you keep it that is a question we want to be able to keep our money and grow our money we want to appreciate our money so much that it wants to invite its friends into the mix as well okay so let's go back to this man that we keep talking that we keep talking about right if you're not in the place of appreciating this man and feeding this man on a daily basis and quote unquote taking care of this man lord have mercy in the bedroom and keeping the house clean because you know that's unfortunately what we women have to do in a lot of these relationships because we're the cleaner ones you know right what is that man going to do if he doesn't feel the love if he doesn't feel appreciated I'll wait. He's going to move on to the side chick. Now, who is the side chick in this situation? In this equation, it's everybody but you, sis. The side chick is everybody else. It's not you. You are not the one with the abundance of money in your bank account. You're not the one that's attracting money into your into your energetic frequency or field because you're not on the same level of it. Everybody is the side chick in this equation everybody but you okay so hopefully you all were able to watch the chase money why you shouldn't lord what did i call it why you shouldn't chase money and whatever whatever video where i teach you basically how to build that relationship with your money very easily okay if you watch that video i think i put it up last week and if you haven't seen any evidence of your money increasing already because i have i have definitely definitely noticed it if you have not noticed yet i need you to go back and watch that that video over and over and over until you actually start to see your money grow now it's not good enough just to watch the video ladies you and gentlemen you also have to do the work okay so we're only magical when we put forth an effort okay don't allow the magic that is inside of each and every one of you to lie dormant in order for it to work we have to put forth some type of effort so actually do the work actually go to the bank and get your money and anoint your money and talk to your money and put it in the clear vase that i told you all to put it in right and meditate with your money every single day call in the angels of money every single day and you will start to see your money increase you will start to see your money grow you have to build that relationship in order for money to actually want to be around you in order for the money to actually start chasing you right so this little nugget kind of dropped in my spirit and i just wanted to share it with you all really quick Therefore, it's just an audio and not a video. I didn't want it. I didn't want any of it to leave me. So I just quickly brought out my phone and started to voice record it. So I hope that this all helps you. I mean, I hope that this. What am I talking about? I hope that this helps you all. Um, I really, really do. I definitely want us all to win in 2020. The end of 
2019 let's keep in mind that you know it's not the end of a year it's the end of a decade and 2020 is going to be a magical year for all of us i'm speaking that in i'm believing that um and i just want us all to win period so i hope this is this audio helped you guys please um start to do the work if you haven't already bye